welcome to Bundy Bear Shed. Well, look, today we're out in the front yard. It's um, it's Tuesday. Um, I think it's the second of October. Probably is. Anyway, long weekend. The Roosters won the R or the NRL. They won the footy, and um, we're at the front yard today. Shortly, we're going to have Keith Pitt, the um, local member of Parliament, come and and yeah, a few other people, and they're going to have a few photos with the tractors here and. Um, we're just using my front yard today to promote a, a machinery rally we're having in town next weekend. So, so I'm just providing the venue, not star of the show or anything like that. I'll just have a couple of tractors here that we're going to um, just use to help publicity, um, just to raise awareness. Then this coming Friday, um, about well, about lunchtime, thereabouts, quarter to 12, um, we're taking the tractors into town and we're going to do a tractor run down to the local zoo. And um, yeah, the media's going to grab us all there and take photos and put in the Saturday's paper just to um, raise awareness, let everyone know that the, there's going to be a local machinery rally in town next weekend. So Saturday and Sunday, but I'm running a bit late with the stews at the moment. <laughs> well, today, um, usually we have a, a big camp out um, for the NRL Grand Final and. Um, We've got friends, Dave and Jody and Roy, the young bloke up, and, and look, we've had a blast, had a great weekend, we've had some really good cook-ups and, yeah, a bit of good chewing going on, and, um, <clears throat> pardon me, I've been doing too much talking, or singing when we're pissed, I think, and, uh, <laughs> and, um, and look, we've had a great time, and yesterday we jumped in the car and I took them for a guided tour all up through um, Baffle, the town of 1770, Agnes Water, and... Then we took them down south of Bundaberg to Kinkuna National Park. And Kinkuna National Park is just a great place to camp. It's one of our favourite spots. And we haven't been for some months, so it's time we packed up and went. But um, Jody and Dave are going to be here for a few more days yet, so we've got the caravan set up in the car for them. And um, yeah, they're, they're heading down. I've showed them where to go, where the turnoffs are. And, um, where we go camping, so they're off on an adventure today as we're um, as we're home doing this and, and the shops up and running and things like that. So, and we had a bit of rain, had six and a half mil over the weekend um, in a storm on Saturday evening or Sunday evening, yeah, Sunday evening I think it was. And um, we actually had power outage, and I've got the cables over. We had to bring the generator up and crank ourselves up, keep everything going for a few hours and the power came on again but look it's all on again up and racing but um yeah we just <laughs> we just been flat out flat out doing nothing really but we've had a good time but um but yeah dave and jody and roy they're gonna well do a few local tours they gotta go to the rum distillery and get some supplies for lady and do a few things like that so so we're running a bit late tuesday morning for a quick stew um I'll see when these camera people turn up and I might get my camera over the back there and just take a bit of a happy snap of what's going on. If um, yeah, We'll see, see what they want to do and um, yeah, go from there. But um, yeah, we took the boat out. Um, we took our friends out in the Elliott River um, fishing on Saturday. I think it's Saturday, I'm getting my days balls up. <laughs> Too much of a good thing. and. Um, yeah, we took them out in the boat, so we went boating for a day and fishing. Didn't catch any fish, so we actually went boating, not fishing. And, um, look, it's been great fun. They've had a blast, and they're, they're off and, yeah, off having a laugh and enjoying themselves. So, um, Judy went into the shop this morning because I, I was getting this stuff organised. And, um, with the storm on Sunday, we don't know how, but on the new shop, there's a power board inside. And it's got like a teaspoon or so of water in there and it's fried the boards. And so um, we're not sure. We've got fastway going past and things like that. So we're not sure, but this morning there was no power and um, it was making funny noises in all this new new circuitry. So um, Nick, the bloke that put it all there for us when we did the building refurb, um, he's there at the moment and they thought they got it all going and did a couple of tests. but something not quite right yet so um, it's about 
duty got there about oh, a quarter to six. And at the moment it's, it's 20 past nine and we still haven't got the show on the road in there yet. So we'll just have to see see what happens. The phones are getting diverted to mobiles and I'm taking a few calls here and bouncing them through. And so I can do the emails from home here and all that. But, um, but the, the power comes in underground and comes up to the power box. And there's no external linkages or, or conduit or anything like that but there's water on two boards and it's fried them so oh, they're like a buzz bar thing I suppose from what they've described it to me as and we can't actually work out how it's got in there um, it's got to come through a oh, probably eight inch concrete wall so um, we'll be having a look a hard look at that and seeing if there's any cracks or something like that but it, the rain fairly pissed down and um, got in there somehow and it's, it's fried the whole show so um <clears throat> so at the moment yeah the boys will be at work and they can't do anything so they'll be doing something <laughs> i don't know what they'll be doing and um the phones aren't working so if they if they're getting if the phones are going through judy's phone um yeah well at least we can take notes and do a few things but we can't work it till we can't print an invoice the um nowadays you rely on electricity so much so without power into the building the whole show shuts down you can't do that well that's possibly can because they have battery backup i've got battery backup in the front of the till so anyway not much i can do no it's been going in there and sitting there with no power twiddling my thumbs um, i might as well sit out here and stay home and twiddle my thumbs and see how we go but um but yeah so not a lot to show you this week um i'm going to find a few pictures and links to websites for Agnes Waters and the town of 1770 and Kinkuna National Park. It's just bloody beautiful. And um, our friends are having a great time. They're telling us how they're loving it. Yeah, all these places that um, without local knowledge they may not have got to. Or um, Like Agnes at Chinaman's Beach. It's a nice little place. Anyway, we're mucking around with them and having a, having a great bit of fun. And... Um, but look, I'll try and film a bit of what goes on with the, with the whole shebang here. And there's been no shed work, no tractor work. We've just been partying, barbecuing, drinking, singing. <laughs> God, imagine doing that, you know. I'm glad no one's taping that. She'd be <laughs> Jody says, we should tape this and um, we could have a concert next time. I said, well, you wouldn't want to go charging any money. <laughs> You'd have awfully disappointed patrons. But... Um, Anyway, we'll see. We're, we're all set up, ready to go here, and I might, um, like I say, I might pop the camera over the corner, and, and when all the hoo has are going on here, we might um, take a few happy snaps and show you. So anyway, stay tuned. We'll see what we can get up to. Saturday morning, nine o'clock. That wraps up at five o'clock on Saturday. You bike's good looking enough.
think of it one day. That's what the GPS is. And on the front of it, we've got a I think so.